So I know I showed it in the beginning. I know I showed it in the be Hey guys. I Welcome back if you watch me sometimes and welcome if you are new to my channel. I am Dollar Dr. Jennifer, full-time veterinarian and part-time reseller and we are here today for the Monday Hollow. So today we have a haul and it was a fun haul. It was an unexpected one. Um, I went to the Goodwill outlet uh, or the bins in Charlotte, North Carolina and met up with my biggest fan, Janet. <laughs> uh, she had flown into Charlotte and so we hung out for a little while and this is what I got when I was with her. So um, I was pretty excited, I found some really cute stuff and she helped me check out some of the shoes and stuff. She didn't get as much. Um, she only got a couple things I think that day but um, I think I was there for like five, ten minutes maybe before she got there and I already had like half a bin full and she was like, what happened? I'm like, I don't know, I found stuff. <laughs> so anyway, um, I have this big bag back here and I will put in how much it cost and my average cost of goods and yeah, so, yeah, so let's get into the haul. Uh, if you do like this kind of reseller content, definitely subscribe to my channel. Also, hit the thumbs up if you're enjoying this content. And buy me coffee if you would like to support my channel. Alright, into the haul. I'm going to start off with like my favorite thing, I think, because, or at least the favorite thing I remember, because it's been a while. Um, I haven't looked in here in a minute. <laughs> but, um, I've been having really good luck with guess uh g by guess boots recently for some reason and so i did find another pair but these are a fun equestrian style they've got the little harness at the bottom um they are zipper down the side and um let's see they're an eight and a half i think yeah eight and a half and they're the hiker I think is the is the name of the the shoe um, they are not leather they're a faux faux leather boot but they are in as you can see like amazing condition there is a minor wear but like even the soles aren't that bad um, there is like a teeny bit of heel drag but not not a ton and I just I love these boots I can't wear boots like this usually but um, I hope they find a really fun home. So, I don't know if the other one is available. No, it's not. I'll bring out the other one eventually, but it is not readily available at this moment. So, anyway, so that's the first thing I got was those boots. I also picked these up. And they are a kid's boot. They're very light. They've got this fun fringe. It's like silver and like a blue-gray color. They are new with tags, and that was the main reason I picked them up, because um, I am going to list these on Poshmark, and um, I don't even think, I don't know if there's a price, I don't think there's a price on here at all. I do need to look these up, but like I said, they're brand new, so I figured you can't go wrong with brand new, and it's coming into the season where moms are going to start going to start wanting to buy this kind of stuff, so that is why I grabbed those. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm an idiot. They are Crazy 8 <laughs> is the brand. I didn't even show you guys. And these are a size 2. I think a size 2. Yeah, size 2. Which I don't know what that means. But. And they are all man-made materials as well. Sorry about that. I got, I got ahead of myself on that one. And then because you know I've been picking them up. We got another, um, this is Mad Engine, extra large, and it is another fun, ugly Christmas sweater with a stuffed deer head in a wreath, or like, I guess it's more of like a fleece, 
but it's in a wreath um and it's just got kind of a fun deer christmas sweater print it's like a sweatshirt material though um so it's not like an actual knit sweater like some of the other ones are it's like a sweatshirt i do need to look this up um i kind of briefly did when i was getting it but it does look like almost brand new like it has that feeling like it's never really been washed so that was another reason i grabbed it <clears throat> I don't even remember what I got to be honest it was a blur that day oh this is like okay so I got this almost by they got this by accident but it was hard rock cafe so brand is hard rock cafe and it's a size extra large and I was like oh like I've never seen one like this before like this is like a fabric like stitched on it's got two guitars it says hard rock and it's from Lake Tahoe and we were checking over stuff and she's like this stitching is weird and I was like let me see wouldn't you know it it's actually vintage it has single stitch so it is single stitch so I am not sure what I'm gonna be pricing this at but I got to be one of the cool vintage t-shirt guys for a minute so that was fun <laughs> I was like oh my god I got a vintage t-shirt <laughs> So yeah, so I have to do more research on this one to really know um, what I'm going to be doing with it. Obviously, I'm going to be selling it, but um, like how I'm going to price it and whatnot. But it was totally a fluke. Like I didn't even, I just liked the, the front of it. I just thought it was cool looking. So, all right, what is this? This is another one. I don't know. Um, this is, the brand is Clickbait. It's a size large. Um, I don't know. I looked it up and it looked like they did fairly well. I'll see if I can throw comps in here, but it's just a spell out. It says clickbait on it. Um, just a graphic sweatshirt, basically. Um, nothing else super fantastic, but for some reason I felt like I should get it. So I did. <laughs> Sometimes that happens. All right, let's see. This is Vintage America, um, which is, I think, Nine West, maybe? Um, it's a size six. It's a boyfriend jeans. Uh, let's see, is there any other info? <laughs> And the style name is Gratia, something like that. It's from 2017. I couldn't leave them behind because of this. It's got bird and floral embroidery. I actually have a skirt from the same brand that's somewhat similar and it has not sold, but you know, I'm a glutton for punishment. <laughs> And there's a little bit of elastic, and then it has this on the back pocket. But they're in pretty good condition, I felt like, and I really just loved this embroidery, and so that is why I grabbed them. I wore stuff like this in the 90s, 100%. Um, so, I don't know, with the Y2K coming back, maybe this will be coming back into fashion. We'll see. I wasn't leaving them behind either way. <laughs> All right. These are Columbia, I think. Yeah, these are Columbia, size large. And this hates Columbia tags for some reason. But anyway, um, I don't know if it's women's or men's. I'm not sure on that one, but it's a fleece pant, straight leg, black. I might list them. I might send them to the real real. I don't know yet. I don't really like just black pants. I'm not going to get a ton of money on the real real for them probably, but um, I may actually have to list them. It looks like they need a little bit of sweater shaving around the waistband. So I may just list these myself and see what I can get.
Then I did find these. You'd think that they're an UGG, but they're not. They're Emu, which is a very similar brand to UGG. Um, they're a size women's. This is a weird, weird size in here. I'm going to have to look at their website, but it says W slash F8 M slash H7 UK six ish European 39. I don't know. I'm guessing it's like an eight. I think I could try them on. They're my size. If it's an eight, it's my size, but they are just a sheepskin boot, just like Uggs. Um, these look almost brand new on the bottom there is a little bit of wear on the toe like on the thingy on the toe but they're in excellent condition and they sell for close to what um uggs sell for so i was super happy to grab these again they look in great condition the lining looks really good. So I'm excited. I'm excited to see what I'll get for them. I love shoes. <laughs> it's so funny. I found, like I said, I've been finding the guest boots. I found another pair in an upcoming haul that my friend gave me. Um, because she's like, I can't sell shells. You sell shells. And I'm like, sorry. <laughs> I mean, you should see actually my shoe rack. I'll see if I can stick a picture in here because I have a lot of shoes that I have not sold to. <laughs> but I love all of them. I have a shoe problem. This I am not selling. This is going to my cousin. Um, this is a Carter's nine month. And it's a little like onesie pajama striped, but it says little brother um she's having her second boy so i found this and it looks like brand new so i'm gonna send this to them with maybe a couple other things depending on what i can find but i'm really excited because i get to be an aunt again <laughs> i just wish they lived closer because they're in california but anyway this i grabbed literally just because of the print or the colors it's like a rainbow button-up shirt the brand is thomas dean and it's an extra extra large i'm not sure i think it's actually women's because the buttons are on no is it men's the buttons are on the right left oh my gosh i get so confused anyway it's a cool shirt. I I don't think the comps were technically that great for this brand, but I just love, I mean, look at this thing. It is so colorful and I just love it. I'm debating about keeping it, but I'm not going to, but it's a short sleeve. But look at the fun rainbow colors. It's fun. Yeah, I'll have to figure out if this is women's or men's. I would think it'd be men's, but I don't know. This I got for myself. <laughs> so, I don't know if y'all know, but I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. This is Harry Potter. Um, it's from 2015, but it is <laughs> the Marauders map, and it's a bag. I really don't need this, but it is what it is. And it says, I solemnly swear that I'm up to no good. <laughs> Um, this, it's a little short for what I like. So, um, Janet suggested maybe unattaching this and putting like something else to make it longer. So I will probably do that if I end up using it a lot, but 
I just wanted it because it's great. <laughs> so yeah, and it looks really good. I could technically sell it. It would probably sell in like five seconds if I did, but um, for now I'm keeping that one. We got some shorts from Express. And they are high rise with a uh, raw hem. And it's like a light wash and then a darker wash on the back. I thought they were fun. And they're a size two. Um, so yeah, I mean, I just really liked them. And hopefully, you know, I know it's like I keep saying it's going out of short season, but you can wear shorts some places almost year round. So, yeah, I sold shorts last year. Um, this I don't know. I'm probably going to sell this on Poshmark. It's um, NFL team apparel three, six months. And it is Carolina Panthers little onesie very cute it is football season right now or starting so I need to get this listed pretty quickly so you know people that just have babies and want to put them in their onesies can can buy that <laughs> uh, and then I found some American Eagle Outfitters um, the high super high-rise shorty I always pick these up and these have a little bit of a raw hem, but no distressing. And they are a size six, just a black jean short. So they tend to do well for me or have been doing well for me. All right. Um, this, I thought that <laughs> Veronica would love this shirt, but I don't know if that it's her size, but it's by Ann Arbor t-shirt company size large and it's a graphic t-shirt that says duct tape. It can't fix stupid, but it can, <laughs> but it can muffle the sound. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure this will sell pretty quickly. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I have good luck with shirts like this. <laughs> and then we have Victoria's Secret, size large. And it's just a little, like, baby doll nighty with uh, lace on top. And then it's just kind of like a stretchy fabric with a little scallops ruffle thing down there. Really cute. Um, I have a lot of stuff to list, so, <clears throat> and then I got some more shoes. I found a lot of shoes this day for some reason. This is the Ellie. These are a size six and it's, what brand was this? I forget. Oh, these are Steve Madden. You won't be able to see the Steve Madden on the inside. It's too, oh. let's see. Can you see it? Oh gosh, sort of. Anyway, they're Steve Madden. They're like a moto boot, um, slip on. I don't, I guess these straps are adjustable, but again, in like very good condition. I like the little strappy details, not very much wear, very minor heel drag. Um, I mean, they still have this sticker with everything on it on the bottom. And these are a leather upper. So they're a little bit nicer. I could hit them with my Wonder Ball some if I need to. But really fun boot that I think will do well. <clears throat> but they are a smaller size. So that is a negative. And here's the other one. Again, really good condition. So, real excited to see how these do. I do have some boots that have been sitting for like a year. But I have high hopes. I like all the strappy stuff. Like kind of moto, moto motorcycle vibe. <clears throat> oh, 
All right, here's the other boot, the other guest boot. You can see, ooh, sorry. Very good condition. So, we'll see how they do. <clears throat> and I'm sorry if the camera gets moved because Brave just walked in and he likes to weave in and out of the ring light. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Hi. So then I also found these, which I did look up. Um, and these are expensive hiking boots. So they have Gore-Tex, which I guess is a thing you look for. <laughs> I don't know. But they're La Sportiva hiking boots. I don't know if you can see that well. Um, possibly the Vibram is the, I'll have to look them, I haven't looked them up specifically yet, but they are a size seven, <clears throat> excuse me, and they have fit orthotic, fit thotic cushioning in them, and impact brake system whatever that is but they're in very good condition the tread is still pretty much all there um there's a few little nicks here and there on these but let's see they are leather like this is a suede um but they seem in really good condition they passed all the like flexing and whatnot so i'm excited for those to see how much i can get <clears throat> and here's the other one. So, yeah. Very excited about these. Let's see. And then these really didn't weigh anything, so I just grabbed them. They'll probably get like eight to ten dollars. There it goes, rave. Um these are deer foams. These are size small, five to six. And they are just a leopard print slipper, padded, nothing super fancy. Got a little bow. But they sell regular, they sell pretty regularly for me. So, and they look brand new. So that is why I got them. You can see like, there's like nowhere on there. <clears throat> it looks like I have more shoes. <laughs> I can't reach them. Okay, these are Sardo by Frank Sardo. Or by Franco Sardo, sorry. Um, these I got based on style. I thought they were kind of cool looking and so did Janet. They're like a loafer with a buckle cross these are leather too I'm pretty sure let's see yeah these are leather suede they're an eight and a half size eight and a half and again they look like excellent condition so I was happy to grab these I think I'm pretty sure they are women's I'm pretty sure they're women's I'll have to see. Almost positive though. <clears throat> and here's the other one. This one needs a little reshaping, but otherwise. It's in really good condition. The suede. And, you know, the bottoms don't look like they have that much wear. So. Size 8 and a half. Just triple checking that they are the same size. <laughs> My average cost of goods for this haul is going to be a little higher probably because I didn't really get that much kid stuff and I got a lot of shoes. <laughs> so we'll see what it comes out to at the end, but yeah. So this is Chico's. I couldn't leave this behind because it's so pretty. It's a small medium. And it's this gorgeous floral 
blouse you know boxy blouse and then it's like just maroon on the back there are two different types of fabric this is more of like a t-shirt and this is I don't know something else but um yeah it was just so pretty I had to get it even though it is just Chico's hopefully it should still sell um, and then another Victoria's Secret called the Lacy. It's a size large. I think Janet found this one and gave it to me. Um, but it's just a little lingerie halter top lace get up <laughs> with a little rose in the middle there. And then it's just open back the back cute I do have a cup I do have a bunch of lingerie stuff that I need to really start to try to get rid of or relist it I think I need to relist some stuff okay is this the last thing oh yeah oh I forgot about these I think this is the last thing Another pair of shoes, but these are probably the best thing I got. They are um, Shimano. I don't know if you'll be able to see, see that. Um, they are a biking shoe. So they are for biking. They have like the little special things that you like hook into your pedal. And um, these things are expensive. And they do resell really well and these are in like really good condition um, there are some scratching at the bottom but otherwise like this velcro is there's a little bit of stuff but it's really not that bad um, they're a size 41 and let's see is there anything else so US eight and a half. But yeah, so I got these guys. Cause they're really cool. And hopefully they will resell really well. I've sold a couple biking things. I have a couple more just sitting, but I think it just takes the right buyer. It's a good size and I do like the colors. The teal with the black is a good kind of neutral-ish with a little pop <laughs> so that's why I grabbed these and comps were pretty good I'll see if I can pop them up um, but yeah so that is my haul today I obviously got a lot of shoes I didn't even remember that I got this many shoes <laughs> to be honest I really need to not buy any more shoes until I sell some more um, I did sell a pair of shoes yesterday though I sold the I had some slip-ons from Talbot's from the uh, clothes mentor closing sale they had like little skiers embroidered on the tops of them those did sell um, you will see that in, in some sort of what's old video at some point but let me count the items I have and see what our average cost of goods is and we will go from there see you in a minute I know I showed it in the beginning, but um, we had 22 items in this haul, and so the average cost of goods was $1.36, which is a little higher than normal, but again, I had a lot of shoes, and I think the money will be made back pretty quickly with those, so hopefully um, we can do a throwback Thursday at some point and see what, what we ended up making, but that is all for today. I hope you enjoyed it. It was so many boots, and I love them all still. <laughs> Even even though I didn't remember what I had. So I will see you next time. I hope you enjoyed this. And remember to help control the pet population and have your pets spayed or neutered. Bye guys.